Hello learners, welcome to our class. So today is another day and another learning that I will be going to feed to all of you. So I hope that all of you is ready for our discussion for the rest of the session. I am Teacher Dell, your teacher in bread and pastry production in grade 8. Time is running out in the Baking with Heart Mystery Box Challenge. Oh my clothes, it closed. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, it falls. I've lost my cake. This is a disaster. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? I feel defeated. There's nothing that I can do to fix this. That has got to be heartbreaking. Michelle is still flustered, but I know she can salvage what's left of her cake. I'll get your ring molds. Here you go. Veronica suggests to me to make a smaller cake. It won't be as elegant and as pretty, but uh, it's my only choice. That's okay. That's okay. I can't give up now. I want my kids to see how much of a fighter their mother is. We still do it. The last 10 minutes, it's all about the finishing touches. It's the filling, it's the stuffing, it's the layering of the icing. Mary right now has that laser beam focused. I need to show the judges that I'm the best baker here. <laughs> I want the judges to see that even though I'm not much of a baker, that I can still hold my own. I'm gonna go with as many layers as I can. I want this cake to be really high, I don't want it to fall over. <laughs> it's cold! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> One of the most difficult Japanese desserts and I executed it in an hour! Emily, you, you doing good? Oh wow, that looks amazing. It's no Japanese roll cake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh freak. Look at that. Jeremy is definitely struggling. The icing is running down because his cake is just too hot. You cannot ice a cake when it's hot. The icing melted. One minute! You have one minute left! Come on, one minute! Michelle is an absolute fighter. I cannot believe that she's pulling through this. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, it's so close. The judges have been observing and sampling throughout the challenge. They now take one final look before selecting the most promising family-inspired desserts. We were blown away by what you did tonight. The first home cook we'd like to call up was inspired by a loving and supportive parent. And that home cook was... Veronica! I am super proud. I know my family would be super proud. I'm just hoping all the flavors are there. It's a Japanese matcha roll cake with the chestnut cream in the center. It is impressive. Thank you, chef. I don't even know how to do these patterns myself, I'll be honest. I don't know how you pulled that off. Extraordinary. Thank you, Chef. There's a perfect balance between the chestnut cream and the green tea and that white chocolate crunch. Outstanding. Thank you, Chef. Extremely light. And the sponge is incredibly moist. Did you do anything to the sponge to make it so moist? No, I just have a good recipe and the base cell helped out. Extraordinary presentation, technique. I can't find anything to fault on this. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. My dad would be ecstatic to see me now. He would be so proud. The second home cook whose dish we'd like to taste tapped into their passion for baking and plated a beautiful dessert. Terry, please bring up your dish. I am thinking about my sister as I walk up with my dish because I know she's going to be very proud of this moment. So I've got three different types of cheesecakes on the dish. I've got a raspberry cheesecake, a lemon cheesecake, and a milk chocolate cheesecake. The presentation to me is absolutely beautiful. Between the simple piping, the tuxedo dressed 
dip strawberries, the feather work on top of the chocolate. A lot of different technique. Yes, Chef. I put all I had into this cheesecake. It all comes down to taste, though, Terry. Yes, Chef, it does. Terry, it has got that rich, creamy, but ever so ultra smooth filling. That crisp lemon just cleans it up nicely as you chew through it. And then you've got that wonderful crisp base to it. Thank you, Chef. Your sister would be very proud. It's nice. Thank you, Chef. It's light. The crust is perfect, nice and crunchy. You got the nice ratio of crust and cream cheese. And of course, it looks good. Well done. Thank you, Chef. I feel on top of the world. The third home cook we're calling up didn't let their lack of baking experience hold them back for one second. And that home cook was... Sean. Please bring your dish up. I'm super happy. My dad would love this cake. This one's for you, Dad. It's a layered key lime cake covered with a Swiss meringue and torched, and then just a little wine zest. That's a pretty impressive looking dessert. Thank you very much, Chef. The kind of thing as a little kid you'd want to stick your finger in and just take a big lick, right? Now let's see what it happens when we cut this open. Mission accomplished. You've got that meringue that is very soft, that sponge cake, wonderful moist, but has a little flavor from the lime, which cleans it up really nicely. It's got it all going on. Thank you. Kaboom. It's awesome. That lime zest just jumps out. The cake is beyond moist. Take a look at that. What you achieved. Definitely proud. I hope my parents are too. I couldn't be happier with myself. I wish I could save a piece of this cake for my dad. If you have questions, queries, and clarification, do not hesitate to call, text, and chat me. My Facebook account, you can see on your screen, Del Aran Bantinoy. Messenger account, Del Aran Bantinoy. My Gmail account, arbantinoy162 at gmail.com. And also, you can call me anytime. My phone number on your screen. So, yung nakita nyo kanina na video is for icebreaker. For you to have an excitement and motivation on our topic later. Okay? Let's proceed. So, let's have a review before we proceed to our next topic. If you have a learning on our previous discussion. Okay? Congratulations, learners! Okay, let's proceed. Our unit of competency is to prepare and produce pastry products, the content, types, and classifications of pastry product. So now, let's have first answer our pre-assessment. Kung naamoy nakatago ng mga learning or knowledge sa inyong mga brain cells. Okay, let's answer the pre-assessment on page 2 to 3. Okay, let's answer. Number
Number 5 Colon Bread Talk Group, Singapore. Bread Talk Group Singapore. One of the most recognizable names in the Singaporean bakery market, the Bread Talk Group operates through its subsidiary Bread Talk Limited. The company already has a robust presence in Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, Hong Kong, China, and India. Expanding across the European markets although an uphill task is one of Bread Talk Group's primary goals in the next five years. Recently, the company signed a franchise agreement with Baconeds LLP to establish the Bread Talk Bakery chain in Delhi and the national capital region in India. Leading brands, Bread Talk, Toast Box, Food Republic, Din Tai Fung, and Bread Society. Number 4 Colon Yamazaki Baking, Japan. Yamazaki Baking, Japan. Japan's largest bread baking corporation, Yamazaki Baking has a strong presence in both domestic and overseas markets. At present, the company has operations in Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Thailand, and the United States. With a clear plan of expanding its base in the Asian market, Yamazaki Baking has launched region-specific curated bakery items. Already, Yamazaki Baking has a strong presence in the food supermarkets and convenience stores, which explains its popularity in non-Asian markets. According to our analysts, a major chunk of the sales for Yamazaki will continue to come from bread and related products. Additionally, Western-style confectionaries along with Japanese-style bakery products will also contribute handsomely to its sales numbers. Leading Brands, Fujia Co., V de France, Dehado, Sundelica, Co., Limited, Bakewise Brands Incorporated, and PT Yamazaki Indonesia. Number 3 Colon Maki Foods, USA. Maki Foods, USA. This family-owned snack food and granola manufacturer is best known for its line of Little Debbie snack cakes. Maki Foods has a strong presence in the Americas and is gradually emerging as one of the most sought-after bakery food brands in the Upper region as well. Just like the other major names in the bakery market, Maki also believes in competitive mergers and the strategy of acquisitions. Drake's Snack Cakes is one of its most recent acquisitions. Leading Brands Little Debbie, Sun Belt Bakery, and Heartland Brands. Number 2 Colon Finsbury Food Group, United Kingdom. Finsbury Food Group, United Kingdom. This leading specialty bakery manufacturer has been on an acquisition spree, with Johnston's Food Service being the latest addition to its portfolio. With a meaningful presence in the continental European markets, Finsbury Food Group is working on building a strong presence in the Middle Eastern market as well. The company is also focusing on replicating its UK success pattern in other European countries as well. Recently, in a bid to cut down manufacturing costs, the company has invested in process automation. Forward-facing, innovative and expansion-minded, Finsbury is truly a heavy hitter for the global bakery market. Leading Brands Kara, Lightbody, Fleshers, Cranks, and Village Bakery. Number 1. Grupo Bimbo. Grupo Bimbo, Mexico. One of the world's biggest bakery companies, Grupo Bimbo has a strong presence in the US, European, and Asian markets. From freshly sliced breads and buns to pre packaged foods, tortillas, salted snacks, and confectionery products. I will show you some pictures and identify if it is bread or pastry. Number one.
Okay, are you ready learners? Well, wala mo lang mabuhat kaya ako ready na. Okay, let's start. Now, before we go on, let's unlock this definition of terms because we will find out later this word during our discussion. First, we have... Now, fasten your seatbelt, hold your ball pen and notebook, lean your ears to me, and let's start the ride of learning. What is pastry? The term pastry comes from the word paste, meaning to stick. Pastry is a mixture of flour, liquid, and fat. In the bake shop, pastry refers to both various pastes and dough and to the many products made from them. On the other hand, greased meringues and other meringue type sponge, though they are not made from a flour paste, are also considered pastries because they are used like flour pastries in combination with creams, fillings, fruits, and icings to create a wide range of dessert. We will find those pastries where they came from. Baka kasi kain lang kayo ng kain ng mga pastry, di nyo naman alam kung saan galing. Ikaw, saan kaya galing ang kinain mong hupia? Hupia? Hmm, di mo alam, di ba? Di mo alam kasi, di mo na malayan na nakalimutan mo na pala dahil sa sobrang sarap ng kinain mo. Okay? Pero, mas masarap ako dyan. Okay. Hupya. Hupya? Don't you know that the hupya comes from a Chinese? Hupya. Meaning good pastry. What is spice and pastries? Pies is a baked dish which is usually made of a pastry dough casing that contains a filling of various sweet or savory ingredients. Sweet pies may be filled with fruits, nuts, brown sugar, or sweetened vegetable. What is pastries? Pastries is a food made by mixing flour, fat, and water. The mixture is rolled flat and used for making pies and other food. Sweetened pastries are often described as baker's confectionery. Why pastry is delicate? Pastry is a delicate baked product which consists of crust and filling. It contains high percentage fat which contributes to a flaky or crumbly texture. A good pastry is light and airy and fatty but firm enough to support the weight of the filling. Pastry is delicate because it is sensitive compared to bread. Because pastry contains high percentage of fat. That fat 
contributes to pastry to become flaky and crumbly. The example of local pastry is otop and also uh, the hook. When making the pastry product, make sure that it's in the, it is in the right measurement and mixing of the ingredients. Because in the mixing stage, it is very crucial, lalo na po pag hindi maayos ang pagkamix ng kanyang mga ingredients. Kasi mapagkakakitaan po iyan. So kung maganda yung pagkagawa ng pastry, I'm sure na ubus talaga ang product na iyan. So kung sakaling gusto mong magnegosyo, if you are totally equipped with skills in making pastry, then pwede kang gumawa at ibenta. Natuto ka na, kumita ka pa. Alam ko gusto na talaga matuto gumawa ng mga pastries. Then try it in a simple way. Be innovative. Lalo na ngayong pandemya, usong-uso na yung online selling. So you have a chance to sell it through social media but make sure you have a profit and also hit the customer satisfaction what are the kinds of pastry let's start our travel our first stop is france the cream puff what is cream puff very good we have cream puff cream puff is a type of light pastry that is filled with whipped cream sweetened cream filling and often topped with chocolate okay cream puff or what we call profiterol kapag sinasabing profi kapag sinabing profiteroles mas maliliit po iyan na cream puff best for a dessert spread or dessert buffet Pwede mo itong tawaging cream puff or profiteroles kung saan ka masaya at kung saan mas bibilib ang yung mga customers at ang pamilya mo. Kadalasan tinatawag ito na cabbage kasi parang mga maliliit ito na mga ripolyo. Next, we have puff pastry. A puff pastry and cream puff are the same origin which is from France. Okay, what is puff pastry correct puff pastry a puff pa pastry is light flaky rich pastry made by rolling dough with butter and folding it to form layers a puff pastry originating in France we call this as pâté filaté or filetage puff pastry is a light flaky made by repeatedly layering pastry dough and butter or another solid fat called laminating to form a thin dough that pops in the oven it is one of the ultimate examples of flakiness if everything is done right from start to finish or the result will be disappointing our next destination we have from Denmark the Danish pastry what is Danish pastry yes the Danish pastry made of sweetened yes dough with toppings such as fruit nuts or cheese the Danish pastry is made of yes leaven dough of wet flour milk eggs sugar and large amounts of butter or margarine in Danish, Norwegian, and Swedish, the term for Danish pastry is Wiener bread or Wiener broad, meaning Vinous bread. Okay, let's go back to France again. Nakalimutan natin si French pastry. Okay, what is French pastry? Correct, French pastries. A French pastry is a rich pastry filled with custard or fruit. That's why it is called French rich pastry. A French pastry started with the desire to have a sweet treat following a meal. Fruit and cheese were originally served after dinner. But to quench people's lingering sweet cravings after a meal, the doors to the art of French pastries and confectioneries were open. 
Thus, the delectable, delicious, and dreamy world of cakes, pastries, candies, and classic French dessert was born. Okay, so let's travel again. So, malayo-layo po biyahe natin. Okay, our next target is in America. Welcome to America. D. Pie and Tart. What is pie and tart? Exactly! Pie and tart is a pastry that consists of two components. The first, relatively thin pastry or pie dough. When baked, forms a crust. It is also called pastry shells that holds. The second is the filling. In the 19th century, tart was British slang for pretty women. Some believe it is a shortening of sweetheart. But by the end of that century, tart described a prostitute. Something many language scholars trace back to the tart that you get at the bakery. Our last place to travel and the ride of learning is in Austria. The croissant. What is croissant? Perfect! We have the croissant. A croissant is a flaky raised dough. It is a light, a sweetened crust between a simple yes raised dough and puff pastry. The dough is rolled with butter to create layers and is then left to rise. Creating a very light texture, the downside is that it is technically involved and requires a great deal of work. In the early 19th century, the bakery-like shop specialized in treats from this native Vienna, most notably the kipferl. His kipferl was made with flakier dough than traditional sweets, and people began to refer to it as croissant because of its crescent. We're done traveling! Let's go back to the Philippines. Okay, so those are the kinds and classifications of pastry. After a long travel, so now, what do you prefer to eat? Ano yung pinakamasarap na mga pastry? Sa tingin niyo, or pwede niyong gawin, pwede kayo magluto, para malaman niyo talaga yung taste ng mga pastries. In making pastry product, Please observe proper hygiene and sanitation. Make sure when you make the pastry product, dapat complete uniform with hairnet, chef's hat, cutting of fingernails, and etc. Because it affects the health of our customers. Now, after we discussed our topic, Alam kung takam na takam na talaga kayo sa mga pastries niyo. So let's answer the post test. Meron ba kayong naintindihan sa mga topic na iyon kanina? Okay? So the direction, read and analyze each statement carefully. Choose the best answer and write the letter only in one fourth sheet of paper. Okay, we have first number one.
Let's answer number one. identify the types and classifications of phase 3 on your performance test is using your MIs the shoes in the three uh, category we have the poem spoken poetry and the drawing it depends on you on how you how are you going to make it how are you going to do it with your own style with your own uniqueness but we have a rubrics for your performance okay that relates to our topic the classification types and classifications of the pastries energy to hike up the mountain of work because there will be another mountain on the other side and yes there will be storms and there will also be sun and you we we will get through this together because sometimes life will be bad and sometimes life will get you down but it's not about the ending it's about the journey remember that so wake up and smell the toast we all eat to comfort ourselves you're happy eat you're sad eat you're bored? Eat. But then it becomes deeper than that. You find the emotions that are buried deep inside. The emotions you cover up. With a smile. You're insecure. Eat. You're lonely. Eat. You're feeling like your life is a loop. Not moving forward. Every day the same. Eat. See, life is like a sandwich. You have the two pieces of bread. One at the beginning, and one at the end. But it's the middle that matters. Now, bread doesn't give you the ability to defeat the dark board, but it gives you the ability to get through the day. Ace that exam, finish that essay, write that poem. When life gets you down, just remember to rise up. Nobody likes to be the person sitting alone at the restaurant when you have to say, just another 10 minutes. They'll be here. But will they? And nobody wants to be the one alone, the one pretending they're doing fine. Just fine. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Just promise me. Live life to the fullest. Because life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Because your life won't change in an instant. So fill your face with bread. Like, and act like no one's watching. To have fun. Because sometimes, stuff happens. Okay, that will be submitted and the next next meeting all the videos all the supplemental videos will be uploaded in our GC again be updated doon sa mga learners or mga estudyante na mga walang gadgets abal ah, mga gadget dyan try to ask sa mga malapit nyong kaklase or mga classmates regarding your output or your performance test again Please help one another. Huwag maging makasarili. Magtulungan kayo kasi magkaklase kayo. Being helpful, being helpful is napakagaan sa kalooban. I will show you some videos. Okay? So, take a look on our video on how to make those pastries.
it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we're making cream cheese berry danishes. These look and taste impressive but are ridiculously easy and that lemon glaze makes them completely irresistible. We'll start by making the filling. In a large mixing bowl, combine eight ounces of softened cream cheese with one fourth cup sugar, one egg yolk, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of fresh lemon zest. Beat those together for a few minutes on medium high speed or until whipped creamy and smooth. Now on a clean work surface, unfold your first sheet of puff pastry dough and roll it into a 10 by 10 inch square. Cut the dough into 12 even strips and I find it's easiest to do this using a pizza cutter. Take two strips of dough and pinch them together at one end, pinching tightly to seal. Now twist the strand moving from one end to the other. Make sure you aren't twisting too tightly, it should just look like a loose ribbon. Press one end of your ribbon onto your work surface and loop the twisted strand from the center working outward, then pinch the end to attach it to the pastry. Flatten the center with your fingers to create a little well for the filling. Poke the center with a fork to keep it from puffing up too much in the middle, then add a tablespoon of that cream cheese filling. Add your fresh berries, pushing them halfway into the filling. It's a great time to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. As you finish your pastries, transfer them to a parchment lined baking sheet. Now on to the egg wash. In a small bowl, combine one egg with one tablespoon of water and use a fork to beat those together thoroughly. Brush the outside of the pastries generously with that egg wash, then bake in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes or until puffed and golden brown at the edges. Once they're out of the oven, you want to let them cool completely to room temperature so the cream cheese filling will set. While you're waiting, make the lemon glaze. Combine one half cup of powdered sugar with a half a teaspoon of lemon zest and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. You can add more lemon juice if you like it thinner or more powdered sugar to thicken it up. Once the pastries are at room temperature, drizzle them generously with all of that amazing lemon glaze. It is a good moment because we're gonna do the taste test. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. And the important thing is to pick the one with the most glaze because that glaze just takes these over the top. So good. <laughs> All right, this one looks promising. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. You guys have to look inside. I can't even believe strawberries can be this juicy. <laughs> if you've ever tried strawberries baked into a dessert, wow. That fruit gives it this beautiful fresh pop of flavor. And then that lemon glaze really balances the sweetness. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna eat like five of these before the kids come into the kitchen. <laughs>
combined softened butter and sugar and cream until soft. Break in an egg and mix well. Next, fold in the flour. Pour the mixture onto a floured surface and simply knead it lightly till it's well combined. Then shape into a disc and chill. Then simply roll out your pastry until it's about a quarter of a centimetre thick. Cut into small discs and gently press into lightly greased loose bottom mini tart tins and prick the bottom to prevent the pastry from bubbling. Press in the fridge. This ensures that when the pastry bakes, it will turn out nice and soft. Then bake it till golden. As they cool, make the gorgeous silky chocolate filling. Place a mixing bowl over a pan of gently boiling water. This is known as a bain marie. Then add double cream, butter, and plain chocolate. Then stir until it melts and it is glossy and smooth. Then pour it into the crisp and golden pastry cases. And simply tap to level and chill until set. So easy, so indulgent, and so delicious. Eat them with creme. of our discussion for this session. I hope na nag-enjoy kayo kahit na nakakagutong. So kung gusto nyong gumawa ng mga pastry dyan, share naman dyan! Okay, share naman kayo. Okay, para malaman din namin kung ano yung taste. I know, excited kayo sa mga performance. Okay? And thank you for listening again to our Thank you for listening to our discussion for this morning. And I hope na on the next on the next meeting we will enjoy more because it's it's more fun in learning and adventure. <laughs>